In this video, I'm gonna cover IO streams. We're still doing the section using PHP from the command line, and this is in the PHP manual under features. I click here. Input output streams. The CLI SAPI defines a few constants for IO streams to make programming for the command line a bit easier. CLI specific constants. STDIN. That's an already opened stream to standard in. This saves opening it with. In other words, you won't have to do this. But this is the normal way you would open a stream in PHP. You would use a variable. You would use the assignment statement. You would use fopen, which is for opening files. The second argument to fopen would be an R for read. And the string, which you specify the, for the first argument, would most probably start with PHP, a colon, and two forward slashes, and then the name of the stream that you are opening. If you want to read a single line from standard in, you can use. Okay, this statement reads one line from standard in. This statement reads a number from standard in. F get S is for reading a whole line. You use the trim with it to get rid of the end of line. And the stream is passed as an argument to f get s. That way the string will be assigned to the dollar line variable. In this statement, we are not using the assignment. Instead, the variable which will get assigned is passed as an argument to f scan f. I believe it is passed as a global. That way, in this top level environment, dollar number will be assigned and maintain its value. So it's passed by reference. And this is the string, the format string. By the way, there is a separate section of the PHP manual for streams. It's under other basic extensions, which is under function reference. And this is what it looks like. And it covers stuff that looks like, yeah, here in the introduction, it says a stream is referenced as scheme colon, forward slash, forward slash, target. And the scheme is the name of the wrapper to be used. It's like the pro the wrapper is the protocol. Examples include file, HTTP, HTTPS. Mm. In our case, it was PHP. Okay, and then those are PHP built-in wrappers. Target which is this part, it depends on the wrapper used. For file system related streams, this is typically a path and file name of the desired file. Okay, let's see what it looked like in our case. It was stdin. I don't know if there's a file called stdin. I guess because the protocol is not a file system protocol, so it's not a file path. So it depends on the wrapper used. For file system related, okay. For network-related streams, this is typically a host name, often with the path appended. Again, see supported protocols and wrappers for a description of targets for built-in streams. Okay, this is the introduction of streams in other basic extensions under function reference in the PHP manual. We are in the features command line usage section. Okay, so... That was std in, std out, an already opened stream to standard output. This saves opening it with, in other words, we won't have to use this. And what is this that we won't have to use? An assignment statement to a variable, f open, and we're opening the stream with a w, and this is the wrapper and target. An already opened stream to standard error. Oh, okay. Standard error. So this was standard out. This is standard error. Standard error is an already open stream to standard error. This saves opening it with standard error f open. Okay, I guess the, the reading... Well, you wouldn't be reading from the standard out or the standard error, but you would be writing to it. So you would be using a function for writing. These two functions here are for reading. Basically, they're the same functions for writing to a file. You would use them with the output stream, the two output streams. 
Given the above, you don't need to open, for example, a stream for standard error yourself, but simply use the constant instead of the stream resource. Like here, stderr, that's the constant, and we are using it instead of the stream resource. If this was any other stream that we don't have a constant for, we would have to open it and assign the opening function to a variable and then use that variable right here. But we don't have to do that. And notice this is an f write. So far you've seen an example of f read. They're basically the same functions used for reading and writing to files. All right, you do not need to explicitly close these streams as they are closed automatically by PHP when your script ends. Note, these constants are not available if reading the PHP script from standard in. Remember in the video or the manual page for how to execute PHP code? Remember we could execute PHP code using the standard input by piping it into PHP, the PHP command? Well, if you do it that way, then you do not have access to these constants. Okay? Like the constant standard error or standard out or all of those, okay? So that's a limitation when you're reading your code from standard in. By the way, you should go and check out the PHP read line function because that's also used for getting input from standard input. That's it for this video.